Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 14th, and right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery. Wide view of things here, Hawaiian Islands to the bottom left. There's California right in the center, and look what's going on here. Mario is not dead. He is back alive out there, a tropical storm. You can kind of see he's got some better deep convection associated with the circulation. He's going to eventually try to move off to the northwest here, and then some of his moisture is going to attempt to move over California, included with some monsoonal flow across the region so we've got some active weather likely coming up as we head through this next week we'll go into some of that in detail as we go through the video here this morning so lightning strikes last 24 hours that system went by to the north we did get a couple of thunderstorms right there near the oregon california border but not much else to speak of across the rest of the state and smoke we're doing pretty well unless you are in the vicinity of the garnet fire out there also that goes through the next 48 hours and again there is mario he is back alive and there's also additional tropical uh, cyclone formation here over the next seven days, even south of the Hawaiian Islands as well. I may have to look into that a little bit more. But there we go. Tropical storm probably on in towards Tuesday morning. Then this moisture is probably going to make a turn north and try to get back towards California. And we'll take a look at that right now. This is what's known as precipitable water in the atmosphere. If you were to wring the entire atmosphere out of its moisture, you would get a lot of precipitation down here across the intertropical convergence zone and a lot less across the Intermountain West, as you can see. But let's put this into motion. There's uh, Mario right here, and you can kind of see his moisture. As he weakens, he moves over cooler waters and whatnot. He weakens quite a bit, but his remnant moisture will be moving back up over the state of California. You can kind of see it surge back up across the area here, Arizona, portions of Nevada even, and much of the state of California. Now, there's another way to look at that precipitable water as a percent of normal, the anomaly. And if I put that into motion, you can see there is Mario and look at all the moisture that he spreads back north as we go on in through this upcoming week. Nice surge. Going to be some muggy conditions out there as well. Some warm overnight lows. And if we take a look at the GFS just to make sure, uh, do we have model agreement on that? Well, let's scroll through here. Again, there's Mario. Throws some of his moisture northward towards California. And you can kind of see that goes on for a little while on and towards next week. And according to the GFS, develops another tropical system down there as well. With also continues to spread some moisture northbound. This is the fantasy forecast right now. The European has something different. Does not have this uh, you know, subtropical moisture back up over the state through the extended forecast. But anyway, first things first. We got a long way to go before we even worry about that extended forecast too much. So let's take a look at the artificial intelligence model. What would this all mean? Well, there's Mario again right here. And as we go through Tuesday afternoon, some of the thunderstorm activity comes up Baja towards some of Southern California, some of the higher terrain. You could get a thunderstorm popping off there. And as we go through Wednesday afternoon, yet again, starting to increase a little bit more. Thursday afternoon, you notice that moisture is starting to come across Southern California up the central coast, maybe towards the Sierra Nevada as well. Some of the desert areas starting to get in on some precipitation. And then as we go through the day on Friday, a more active day, which would include more of the state of California. Again, you could pretty much get a thunderstorm really anywhere across the state, but again, it would favor the higher terrain for the heaviest precipitation amount. So definitely something interesting to watch here over the next few days for the state of California and total precipitation in inches. Again, you can kind of see that starting to pop off there on Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, we go through Thursday afternoon. That's right there. And then we start to go off in towards Friday. And that's when things get even more active here. So yeah, some interesting stuff to watch. Finally, some weather to look at here across much of the state. Now, total precipitation in inches on the ensemble mean. It, it's pretty close to what the artificial intelligence model was saying. Again, that rainfall activity really picking up as we go towards the end of the week. Now, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and brag about the channel a little bit here. You got to be, you know, you got to like being here because uh, for a few days now, I've been talking about this potential and just now the National Weather Service is starting to talk about it. So, you know, stick with the channel here and I'll try to give you a heads up on things before even the National Weather Service will, but you can see them talking about the thunderstorms Tuesday through Sunday, all the way through the weekend. There are frequent lightning possible anywhere, you know, as they underline that and some of the impacts that are associated with it. So a little plug for the channel there and Sacramento starting to no, notice that and make that uh, late week thunderstorm percentages are starting to go up there a bit as well. And also, you can see uh, this is Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, you can see the percentage just starting to go up here as you go through Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Same thing here for Las Vegas National Weather Service as well. You could get some precipitation in, even into places like Goldfield and Tonopah, Las Vegas, and maybe even up towards Reno eventually also. So looking at daily two-meter maximum temperature, this is Monday, September 15th. In fact, let me back this up here so we can go ahead and see what the temperatures forecast are today. There we go. And then we go through Monday, Tuesday, a bit of a warm-up. 
Wednesday yet again, but then that moisture and that cloud activity starts to move back across the region. It's going to suppress some of the daytime highs, but again, going to be kind of muggy out there, and those overnight lows will definitely remain on the warmer side because of it. Now, 6 to 10 day, again, above normal across a lot of the West Coast, kind of a broad brush there, and even the most of the lower 48 for that uh, regarding that and then you can see the six to ten day it clearly shows the above normal associated with that monsoon moisture and some of that tropical moisture moving back up over some of the desert southwest and the state of california <clears throat> this goes through september 23rd uh yeah check out the patreon page uh, there if you want as well fun stuff there you can go to the community tab and send me some messages and whatnot and we can chat about things if you like and um you probably noticed i got a little bit of a, a tinge in my voice here the kids back to school brought home a bit of a, a little bit of a cold or something so a little a little bit under the weather here today but <clears throat> uh not doing too bad hopefully it's on the the downward trend now so anyway there's mario down there he's gonna bring some moisture and help us uh, get some precipitation here across the state of california hopefully as we go through the end of next week hopefully we don't have to deal with any flooding concerns but it always is a potential when you get some monsoon and tropical moisture moving back up towards the area all things we will be looking at here over the next couple of days um otherwise click like and subscribe we'll do this all again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then